Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello, my nomies. For today's show and tell, I brought this, a Fremont's Dark Star Imperial Oatmeal Stout. IBU 50, ABV 8%, and the down and dirty includes pale, crystal, carafa, chocolate, and roast malts, flaked oats, Willamette, and Cascade hops. If I mispronounced any of those words, it's simply because I haven't started drinking yet. I saw this sitting on a store shelf and couldn't help but try it. Look at that darkness! Stare into the darkness! I'm smelling the chocolate. Sweet to the palate, with a very chocolatey finish. This is an oatmeal stout? Tastes more like a chocolate one, but that's not bad. It's a good chocolate stout for an oatmeal stout. Good amount of carbonation, or at least enough for me. I like carbonation. The more bubbles, the better. Being one who's tried several oatmeal stouts in the past and never really being impressed, this one makes me happy, probably because it's an imperial oatmeal stout. Would husky be an appropriate word to use for this? There's a fair amount of bitterness that comes along with the aftertaste, but that's apropos. Dark Star is a part of our Imperial series and is inspired by the wandering tribes scattered throughout the terrible journey of time and space and adrift in the dark matter between the spaces of then and now. Dark Star is a dark, mysterious, yet silky oatmeal stout of grand proportions balanced by a firm hop handshake. Go ahead, enjoy the journey because beer journeys matter, at least according to the Fremont Brewing Company, and I don't necessarily disagree either. Oh, there's the oatmeal! I finally taste it. The label's right. The beer's hopped up on something. It's roasty enough, but possibly not roasty enough for me. If you know of something that you think I need to see, show me. If you ever find something that you think I need to hear about, tell me. 